We're in a fog, that's for sure. We have the rain, too, and those showers are going to stick around, so we're not really going to get to experience that beautiful sunset at 8 o'clock tonight. Yes, that is a big milestone. Now, 8.14 for that sunset time on June 1st. June 20th, it's summer. 8.24 for that sunset. And you know what? The good thing about this rain is that we have some relief from the pollen in the air. Hopefully, you're not sneezing or coughing as much as usual. It's low today, but it goes back into the high range the next several days as a result of some dry air and a bit of wind from the north and east. That east-northeast wind today will keep our temperatures in the 50s and it keeps a steady round of rain as an offshore storm continues to strengthen to our south. And as we have some of that rain heading in from the bay, well, we still have a steady stream, lots of moisture for the atmosphere to tap into, and so no shortage of tropical downpours across some areas. Needham, Dedham, Quincy, Weymouth, and down across Brockton, Bridgewater, Plymouth, and then for our friends in Wareham and even Chatham, Wellfleet, the Vineyard, Cape Cod. I mean, it's been raining everywhere this morning, and it continues to downpour across parts of Worcester. Although north at Merrimack Valley and North Shore, you've fared a little bit better. We've had less rain, and that's going to be the case throughout the day as well. There's that circulation down to our south. The lightning strikes, any severe storms stay off the coast, but that center of the storm is strengthening enough to swing in some winds here peaking 20 to 30 miles an hour in Nantucket, a wind now of 32. And that slight breeze in Boston is keeping us at 56, which is pretty close to the temperature of the water offshore. Ocean water temperatures have actually increased over the last several days into the low and mid 50s. And so our temperature pretty much matches what we're experiencing when we get that onshore wind. So the next several days, at least we're not talking about temps in the 40s with an east wind. We'll be in the 50s. That we can handle. And the showers will taper slowly once we approach sunset, 945, I expect a lot of rain to still stick around southeastern Massachusetts, but picking up only about two-tenths of an inch of accumulation throughout the day. And by tomorrow morning, we still have some stubborn clouds south and east. Uh, but then by 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, we slowly see that rain push away from us. And farther inland, it's going to be a nice warm day and dry for most uh, for Friday afternoon as well. Offshore weather, too, we still have this northeast-east wind, and our wave heights could be as high as 10 feet off of the coast of Nantucket down to the south. So there may be some small craft advisories that continue into part of the weekend. If you plan on boating, pay attention to some of that stuff if you own a small vessel, because that's not fun to be on the ocean when you have a small craft advisory with wave heights of three to six feet, for example. Um, Friday afternoon into Saturday, we are watching the potential for some scattered showers Saturday afternoon, but developing north and west. And then it's not an all-day rain. Sunday, same deal, a couple sprinkles, but the chance for rain has lowered each and every day, which is great news. East-northeast breeze keeps cool temps at the coast through the weekend. But look at this, jet streams all the way up in Canada. We have high pressure to our south, and so warm air is allowed to enter into the forecast, even for Boston, for next week. We're going mid-70s. That may be a little too low. <laughs> summertime as we approach the weekend to kick off summer. Memorial Day weekend. God, Saturday. that is so 